welcome you all. Every Sunday it is uh, a celebration. We celebrate by having a kind of a, a meditation satsang. We talk about any interesting topic, we take a topic and then we meditate and we share our experiences. So today also our topic is part of selfless service. Let us understand what this means. What is path of selfless service? When you hear this word service, that itself means mostly it is serving others. Service is selflessness only. But there, is, there are people who serve themselves more, more than others. So there are two things here. You can keep on serving yourself for the entire life. You'll be so preoccupied with yourself, you'll only serve yourself. You're self-interested, self-centered. Your whole life revolves around about your own, your story, about your uh, whatever uh, likings, dislikings, or your passions in life, all these things. When you talk about selfless service, which has a very deep meaning, particularly coming from Bharat Desh, we are fortunate to be born here. We see this path of selfless service here. Most of the service that we see in the world is always surrounded by some kind of ulterior motives. There are some hidden motivations. Okay, I serve, but I must get popularity. I must get recognition for my service. We all know about this. Many people, we do service, but we expect something in return. That's not selfless service. When we talk about selfless service, no hidden agenda, no hidden motivations. It's pure giving of yourself. So today let us understand about this seva, service, how we can also start embracing this path of service. I prepared few slides, through this we will understand importance of service particularly how it helps in the spiritual growth. We are taught that we must serve our mother and father, that's very good. We are taught that wife must serve husband. We must keep serving, 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 even if you don't like it, even if you are tired, you must serve your husband. Your, son, your husband is God for life and they keep serving, serving, serving. But what we are talking here is not only service to your own self, your family, but we are talking about service to neighbors, service to your community, service to country, service to world. Service, when we do selflessly, it chalks our ego. It dissolves our ego. There is an ego in all people. 
even spiritual people spiritual people have the biggest ego which is very subtle ego oh i am a senior meditator i am a great master in meditation these labels that we identify with it gets chopped on through my travels through many countries to many countries many ashrams many communities that i have visited i have learned that part of every ashram every community is service if you go to oravil arvind ashram you will find it in the mothers and arvind ashram samadhi is there in pandicherry if you go there you will also receive breakfast lunch dinner very simple there you anybody has to clean their own plates they will also serve there they take their plate like a begging bowl their prasad is offered to them they take it with humbly even if you are a prime minister this is what is the protocol even if you are a professor even if you are a intellectual giant you are a ceo of a company doesn't matter anybody has to receive it eat it with gratitude and then wash your own plates no exception to this rule everyone there many or i have seen many professors and ias officers all of them they also work cleaning and sweeping the roads sweeping everything there it is why this practice is implemented there is because some way service also charms our identities our external identities we are too much identified with i am senior most professor i am senior most is officer i am see i am very powerful person all leaders whoever are in the top ladder of you know organizations they are all leaders right even if you take a, a government all the top officials are called as leaders whether it is ifs ias any cadre of people or ministers but their motive is service actually that's what is the paradigm all leaders they serve when you hear from all leaders speeches one common theme that you find out is we are servants of this country we we came here in this post as a leader to serve all of you so it's so important that we need to understand the key principle in this is where you are not thinking about your own self all the time because it inflates the ego in us partly you are also contributing you are in service you offer to people your generosity your kindness your love through action not through words people they say words only words i love you i'm very compassionate about you but no action people are only doing lip service but what is important is hand service it must be translated into actions compassion love in action that's what is called selfless service that chops our ego it purifies our mind whoever has negative thoughts start actually working and doing seva anything small seva in an orphanage in a uh, service to beggars service to something that you take up 
for rural community you will not have negative thoughts you will purify it your mind is getting purified with this act of service so friends there so many benefits of service it's a actually spiritual practice without service you are only a sadhak you are practicing practicing meditation practicing meditation it is only half 50% you will gain from your sadhana service is next 50% it completes the whole cycle so if you look into sikhism one of the beautiful religions which is born in punjab all the six they follow this what is called as simran and seva simran following simran is not following the hollywood the tollywood actress of <laughs> simran there is a cine actress called simran here the simran means the meaning of it is remembrance then we think remembrance of god but we don't know whether god exists or not who know who has seen god who has felt god but you have remembrance about your soul which you can do actually remembrance is self remembrance soul remembrance do you know that you are the soul do you know that you are not the body do you know that you are not the mind do you know that you are not the emotions this is called simran a true simran originally it is intended to benefit all the people this is introduced this is nothing but simran is nothing but meditation in meditation you will know about yourself who am i who are you what is my purpose why am i here what am i supposed to do what is my identity here all the external identities are changing what is that unchanging identity in me which never changes this is called simran this is called sadhana this is called meditation so first meditation comes people may be introduced into seva without meditation they will feel wasting time or they feel bored it is not coming from their heart first simran first self remembrance then service so friends many people they live in head consciousness the few who are heart consciousness there are few others who have gut consciousness what is head consciousness living in the head thinking analyzing science there is a scientific ego i am a scientist they have pride they have ego about it i am a scientist head consciousness they analyze 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 if you give a flower to understand what the flower is a scientist head consciousness person will analyze the flower he take out the petals all petals he removes everything oh there is no flower there he can't define the flower he will be more confused scientists try to understand our this nature of our consciousness is there consciousness or is there body is there matter is there consciousness so they try to remove the body parts one by one they found nothing there because scientists can approach is only analysis a linear mind a thinking mind can only 1% of our intelligence there are heart consciousness people who has a heart their compassion arises <coughs> the kindness they are very kind people they are not egocentric they are always thinking about their own self they are also 
how do I contribute to this world? What do I contribute? How do I contribute? What can I serve today? Heart consciousness. Their gut consciousness, then it tra translates into actions. The people who are always ready to plunge into action, but only gut consciousness people, without the heart, they will only begin doing mechanically all the things without heart. <coughs> it becomes a mechanical act. All the wars are happening, all the conflicts in the world are there because somewhere there is division between head consciousness and heart consciousness. Head and heart are separated. Your logic is not supported by your heart. Your analysis has no basis at all. Though we call it as a science, it has no basis. We, we feel more confused with science. Not able to explain all the mysteries of the universe. Mystery of your own self. Mystery of life. Mystery of death. We need heart consciousness. Heart is the doorway for your soul. For your non-linear consciousness or that Atman which is all the time living in you even in spite you are sleeping on the bed in spite you are dead you are still you're, you carry your soul you are with your soul yes Telugu Atma Atma Mana Heart Ninchi Atma Connect Out Head and tail, only Talalo Jinichavalu, head consciousness people. While another visitation is just on the run, needing visitation just on. Pritakuti, they try to define through limited views. One like a definition, Edi Tel, the God Gurinchi define Jed and Trajasa, or a flower Gurinchi, or a unnitary define Jed and Trajasa. Adi visitation is just a watch call. Confusion. It is heart consciousness and then heart center. It is so important step. In mood balance low under me, man spiritual path low man nature kune. In mood tabu parallel low sama parallel low under me. There must be a finest balance between all these three things: head, heart, and guts. Okay friends, this you understood this concept. How many people are head people here? More of head people? Very good, very good. How many are more of heart people? Very good. How many only action, mechanical action? Action oriented? Yeah, good, good. Three, oh, very good. <laughs> You're all rounder. It's good to cultivate that. These three stages, three important components of us. <coughs> How much imbalance we have when there is a dichotomy, division between head and heart. Your head says something and your heart wants to do something else. There is always a conflict. They are separated far away from each other. Be centered in your heart, in your kindness, in your compassion in your soul. That's what is the spiritual path. So friends, service arises from the heart, not from the head. Not from thinking. It comes from the heart center of you. So, many people who enter into the path of service, only service, they get bored, disillusioned, they feel I wasted so much time, I never grown, nothing I learned. That's why it's important that there are pre some more steps before you reach the path of service. As I mentioned, Simran. Simran is self-remembrance, meditation. First know yourself. Then your heart compassion arises. Then the path of service. So the first one is called path of responsibility. Personal responsibility. 
spiritual path teaches you that nobody else is responsible for your life you are responsible for your own self your evolution your happiness your dukkha your misery whatever we call it you are responsible in total apo deepo bhava that's one thing that we learn from spiritual path how do you create your personal reality through your thoughts through your beliefs we have beliefs about everything many limited beliefs about god about universe about world about death about life about people around us we have so many beliefs a belief is like a brick wall it is like a very hard wall this is not a hard wall here it is only cardboard but beliefs are like very thick walls you go and strike it you bound to get hurt you can't dismantle it even many of our beliefs are so deeply uh, embedded in us they are unshakable the whole life you will create such realities i am powerless i can't do i can't excel in life i am very little i am tiny i am a devil i am helpless i am powerless i am a victim everyone betrays me no one understands me i am a lonely person all these things are rotten beliefs they are big brick walls enno namakalu manam erpachukuntamu mana part of responsibility lo first thing manam cheyalasinadi aa namakalu edaithe limited namakalu unnayo appa namakalu unnayo avanni kuda not in alignment with your evolution they are not really unlimited view points or unlimited beliefs of you they are only very limited beliefs based on fear based on ignorance the first thing in the path is path of self responsibility and create your personal reality know that you are the soul in charge for your life nobody else no god really creates your life that's a myth people carry that oh god is punishing me god god never punishes anybody god's grace is already there in everyone blessings are already there but we still feel that oh god abandoned me god pushed me into this hell these are all rotten beliefs we need to establish in right beliefs then we create personal reality which is in supporting the life of you okay friends did you understand this path of self responsibility take the ownership for your life don't wait for somebody to come and uh, shift your life wo aayega wo aayega wo nahi aayega nobody will come and save you no savior outside you are the savior of your own self this is called path of responsibility your sadhana first do sadhana go with it find out who you are find out your true reality the real identity of you your soul which is vast and infinite your soul can shatter all the metal rotten beliefs we carry so many beliefs we are fixated in them we create such limited realities because of that in the childhood i had a belief about myself i am not good enough to speak like this in front of people it's very difficult for me i used to tremble my heart used to have palpitation what do i speak i the moment i used to go into the classroom teacher asked me to speak something i forget everything i forget everything i am fumble i sweat i tell something else the answer which <laughs> was not there in the textbooks so friends this belief it ruins our life it rules our life spiritual path has taught me that i i am clinging to those beliefs is me who can let go of those beliefs and replace with new beliefs it's you who have to do it nobody else will do in the childhood i thought that there's nothing else existing 
what makes the eye is the only thing that exists. But what you see is only a limited perception. There is something beyond these five perceptual organs. You can see something which is still there, even if you don't see, even if you don't hear, there is something else. That's what spiritual path teaches us about. And once you take path of responsibility, personal responsibility, creating personal reality, shattering all your beliefs, negative beliefs, dissolve all your fears that you created in your life, dissolve all those things, circumstances, situations which you created, which are actually troubling you, problematic to you, then you will be able to move to path of compassion. It naturally emerges from you. Your heart center opens. Okay, this is what my hurdle, my limitation. I was suffering so much so far because of my limited thinking, limited viewpoints, judgmental mind, fearful mind. Now, my heart center opened. The areas where I felt blocked, now I need to be a beacon of light. I need to serve. I need to help people. You are now initiated into the heart center of you. Path of compassion arises. You will not spoon feed the others, but you will also inspire others. You will be like a living example for others. So far I suffered because of my own personal rotten beliefs. Now I change them. I create such joy, not only for me, many people who come across with me or meet me, they also get inspiration from me. They also feel joyful. And your compassion now says that now I must now offer this to people. How do I contribute? What do I can do in order to make people understand that they are responsible for their own lives, that they can come out of their suffering, their misery, their patterns, their fears. Naturally, the path of service emerge now. It's a very natural process. Initially, when I started my meditation practice, I was selfish. I was not thinking about the others. I was so self-centered. My national experience, my Kundalini awakening, my third eye experiences, and my enlightenment. No one matters for me. So self-centered, ego-centered, a spiritual ego also developed. But naturally there is a flowering that happens. Any fruit which gets ripened, it also falls down on its own. Our ego also ripens at one stage. And it plays all the tricks. The egoic mind, it plays all the tricks on you and it creates such suffering and you will be so disillusioned what is this I want I'm doing all the things good but still I am feeling so much suffering then that point of time you will take a shift you will your fruit is ripening your ego is ready to drop naturally you move to path of service not only you, how can I now teach this meditation? How can I make people understand the soul science? How can I relieve suffering of people through whatever means that I have attained? How can I offer this? This is what emerges in us, in all of us. So friends, each one of us these steps we can't bypass. I have seen people coming into the path of service because of their hidden motivations. They do a lot of uh, service, but there is a hidden agenda that 
expectation they want to become popular they want to become celebrity through service wow oh, newton is serving so community wow great 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 we are so addicted to this craving for this you know, praises flattery and celebrity consciousness but the main intention of service is to chop this ego to cut down this ego you are one with everyone you are equal to everyone you are not superior not inferior you are equal to everyone that's what is part of service so friends many is one of the spiritual pitfalls is they only practice 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 meditation entire life two lifetimes ten lifetimes but naturally something is emerging but they don't come out to share to serve others that's why it is part of the zen buddhism the training zen monks whoever is coming into the monastery first they are asked to clean the toilets it's a hard training because their initial ego also need to be shattered before they start meditating otherwise spiritual ego develops in zen the training is first service and meditation they go hand in hand like uh, the steps that i mentioned path of responsibility path of compassion path of service they coincide they are simultaneously practiced in zen buddhism why like that why should we do that because the head heart and gut all three things need to be brought into harmony balance through these practices so friends mother teresa is such a great inspiration to the whole world such a great master true altruism altruistic no hidden agenda no hidden motivations just pure giving selflessly she was helping poor patients leprosy patients many of us will not even go and look at them but she used to clean them many people don't touch them don't hug them she used to go and spend time and hug them and she said fruit of silence is prayer fruit of prayer is faith the fruit of faith is love the fruit of love is service fruit of love is service and fruit of service is peace beautifully said most of the religions they emphasize on service whether it is christianity buddhism jainism hinduism to all isms they emphasize on service why because only prayers praying to god praying for the welfare nothing it won't it won't do any good sometimes you need to also demonstrate physically kind acts how many of us are going to villages rural community even we are motivating all the villagers to come into the cities now we are building smart cities what will happen to us next 10 20 years time no food for us even we have to move to villages we also need to go and work there in the villages people are all the time want fancy things and artificial ac air conditioner rooms what a beauty that's existing in a village countryside can be so ordinary simple or down to earth living in the fields walking in the fields taking the fresh air hugging the trees what a beauty that exists 
we are so disconnected from our nature so friends it's very important that not only we serve our own family members we serve even those people who are in need there are many people who are suffering ask yourself how can i go and reach to them what can i do take the example of ramayan entire vanara sena represents the monkey minds vanara vanara is monkey mind with the monkey mind what can we do but lord hanuman is the leader he made monkey minds brilliant minds creative minds he inspired them into them ideas said we can do something you know we can build a bridge such beautiful force existing the force of mass of people all the vanars and other build the entire bridge even a squirrel also helped it has done its service so you don't compare with others oh he has done so much i am being only little whatever that you can do do that don't compare with others let it emerge from the heart how can i serve what can i serve our india needs 80% villages they need the support need people like spiritual people like us to go travel one hour two hours you reach a village and sit with them talk to them counsel them whatever that intellectual knowledge you have offer them some kind of knowledge to them offer your friendship your kindness is very important step friends people want to see a different world they want to change the world but change must begin with you and let the change really spread across first to our rural community let us invoke that consciousness of mother teresa in all of us there is a mother teresa in all of us too she is our inspiration living example who lived here on this planet earth who inspired thousands of people across the globe so friends even all scriptures whether it is christianity buddhism or jainism to hinduism they said manava sevaye madhava seva everyone is talking about seva to krishna seva to buddha seva to this guru but they also tell no do seva to those community those rural people those who are in need who are in suffering help them go and do something for them manava seva ye madhava seva seva is that there is no here hidden agenda hidden motivations for you it's pure giving you don't expect anything and compassionate service this uh, pictures from life university land uh, there all all of them they started working this is subaradi <laughs> <laughs> carrying the load of things on his head so amazing it's compassionate action there are many uh, soul coach uh, 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 facilitators soul coach members who started going to villages teaching meditation it's so important and even a little girl who came from a village there is a village called birol life in vasudhi she started doing her bit of service this is banu and uh, 
she started building we have, we started building a pathway she also contributed the little stones pebbles she started bringing them placing them in a uh, row see the seva the service <coughs> she is doing tirelessly she is not looking for praises also tirelessly many hours she spent with us and nishkama karma yoga this is all nishkama karma path of service is path of karmic neutralization gnana yogam and karma yogam path of self nishkama karma yogam these are the two recommended paths to neutralize whatever the negative karma whatever that you did sins bad things you hurt people all that with your self knowledge self wisdom and seva you neutralize it you serve in those areas where you cause pain to others you serve them now and look at these people all with uh, <laughs> they are like a really modern dressed and farmers they are carrying all the spades and and amazing they are really, really determined i i see the youth with such karma yoga such dedication it is not coming from only mind it's coming from their hearts there is ample opportunities to do karma yoga friends this is called we taken up called samadhan <coughs> people think to build lot of things we need lot of money but really samadhan we can build big big things with so much love so much love we can build so many things wonderful things it has a beauty it has a lot of uh, value what we build with love so in a spiritual organization if it is not inculcating or embracing the path of service it also collapses in a spiritual organization or any organization without service only knowledge it only builds the ego in us for example people meditate there is so much cosmic energy that comes into them it also diffuses all their fuses the bulbs inside their sahasrara will be blasted they need to distribute that cosmic energy to people serve service is such wonderful thing there are many many options choices in front of us how we can serve selflessly so friends now i invite all of you to ask questions interact or add something whatever that you want to share so i invite all of you to speak now it's a a dialogue we can have or a question you have or anything that you touch you through service the path of service I'd like uh, all of you to speak. Who would like to speak? Brave ones. Yeah, yeah, Subaridi, you are the brave one. Very good. So really, today I am blessed. Uh, I, I cannot say in words. Nalopal and the Munde allow and the only and the these are steps and in a Kartamendi. మనము ఎన్నో హిడెన్ మోటివేషన్ ఇవన్నీ ఉంటాయి మన సార్ చెప్పినవన్నీ నాలో ఉండేవి అనమాట సర్వీస్ చేసేంత ముందు కానీ అవన్నీ కొన్ని సమ్ ఎక్స్పెక్టేషన్స్ పెట్టుకుంటాం కానీ ఆ ఎక్స్పెక్టేషన్స్ లేకుండా చేసినప్పుడు దెర్ ఇస్ నో సెల్ఫ్ ఓన్లీ ఆ సర్వీస్ మాత్రమే ఉంటుంది వీఆర్ నాట్ వీఆర్ నథింగ్ వీఆర్ జస్ట్ బీయింగ్స్ అదే అంటే అంతా అయి ఉన్నాను నేను అనేది అప్పుడే అర్థమవుతుంది సో నవ్ ఐ స్టేట్ ఆఫ్ బీయింగ్ 
there is no death at all. Mm. It is run completely. Everything is uh, one, all are one. There is no, uh, I cannot say anything in words. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful, beautiful. I am experiencing this. You are experiencing this. Yes. Yeah. What he has shared is immense value. Because the oneness, people try to have that experience in meditation. They do get. They feel dissolving into the oneness, into the universe, into the animals, plants, minerals and all universe. But it's only in the head. Experience is in the head, in the vision. But when we are doing the selfless service, yes. the same oneness we feel in the physical plane. You will be one with the child, one with the old man and woman, men and everyone. Beyond caste, creed, religion. You, you feel really the brotherhood, sisterhood, oneness field in the Karma Yoga. Part of selflessness. I have questions. Yes. yes. I really, today I have uh, realized uh, we come here uh, to this mother earth to serve yes. the people with selfless. Yes. But there is some responsibilities with family and all. How can we have balance? It? Yes. This is such a very good question. Uh, service doesn't mean that you must only be in the path of selfless service and uh, you neglect your family. Okay. And it is so important to balance middle path. Same time taking up responsibility for your family and responsibility for the community service. Equally, equally. Whatever proportion that you can find, like time that you can find. Balancing all things is so important. It's a razor's edge. Spiritual path is razor's edge. We are walking on a tight rope. Find a balance. So there are some people who are born only for selfless service. Like to quote some examples like Swami Vivekananda. He didn't born for get married and have children. He is born only for serving the world. The path of only service. Karma Yoga, that's why he never even encouraged people to sit in meditation. Come on, wake up. He, his call is wake up, youth. Don't sleep, don't waste your energy. What an energy youth has. So he has really given a clarion call, trumpet call to the whole world about this. He is a completely path of selfless service, the master, you know. But we should know that such designs are not really is very rare but what is ideally good what is recommended by one of the great champions spiritual pioneers buddha is middle path you may serve the whole world but your family is crying there suffering there <laughs> oh, they will have my son is serving that rural villages but the parents who are aging now, they want you to, they want your hug, they want uh, Subaradi to speak to them, Mama, Papa, they want kindness from you too. So find a balance, it's so important to find a balance. Initially you will find a lot of uh, difficulties, your parents may say that you are so, uh, you know, what a stupid you have uh, achieved. You are an engineering graduate, but you are now working for villages, path of selfless service, you've gone mad, all that. But later on, they will understand your heart and soul of you. What happens is the universe supports people who are in the path of selfless service. When you don't have any ulterior motivations, you are very pure intent you have. Whole universe comes to actually serve you. When you serve others, you are served by Lord, by universe, by cosmos, by God. That's what happened to me. I mean, I'm an example. I can say my own story about this. I thought, you know, I, I said to, to my parents, my sister and brother, that I don't want to work like a medical doctor. 
though I'm a graduate and postgraduate in medicine, but I said, no, that's not my calling. My heart is not there in that. I don't want to make money. I don't want to have billions. Uh, I don't want this kind of name and fame and success. I said, I want to teach meditations for soul science to the whole globe. That's what is my pure intent. And what happened is, everyone thought I was crazy. Who has taken almost nine years time to complete the MBBS, MD, and giving up all that, and now going for something, part of selfless service, they thought I'm mad and crazy. But slowly, my parents, my family understood me. My father is so encouraging. Always he uh, gives freedom to us children. He's, he never said a word. He was only observing me. He was only just sometimes giving guidelines to me. And uh, what happened, the whole universe supported me. Traveling to 100 countries so far without any bank balance. Think about it. How we could travel to 100 countries, more than 100 countries? Universe supports when you have the purest intent and there's no hidden expectations of anything. Whatever you don't ask anything, but universe will give you everything. You will be served. Now, wherever I go, I have so many friends. They will feed me. They will give me nice meal. Wherever I am not going to, you know, sleep hungrily. Because I receive this love from everyone. I have so many friends throughout the globe. Because part of selfless service, even if you don't expect, know that you will be supported. <laughs> That's the beauty of it. Answer, sir. <laughs> you have Thank you. wonderful superiority, yeah. sir. Really. Wow, that's wonderful. Thank you. That's excellent. Thank you, that's sir. Really wonderful. Very good. All the answers. You got it. Yeah. Thanks. So, friends, one more sharing or question, of the, sir, please. Everyone can understand Telugu? Everyone can understand? Are there anybody outside Andhra outside the people? Everyone Telugu today. Very good. That is very good. I would have spoken. Oh, you you can't understand Telugu, madam? Okay, okay. Okay, fine. Yeah, sure. Okay, sir. No problem. Telugu is okay. Manishya ka jeeva tam paripurnam kawalante leda atma gnanan pondalana kuda mood vishyano ati mukhya mani kwanti patra vahista. Okay, sadhana endo Satsanga, Mudu, Seva. This Mudu Lekunda, Yavuru Koda, they should not get the enlightenment. Kodaku, this Mudu Kalipi, Unavale, Uthi, a Sampurna, and twenty Arthurna, and twenty one. This Mudu, ye Ukati, low pitch in a Buddha. Wadu. Paripurna Apa Nan Pondre, Ali, Manavajra Escochu, Purmano, O generation good in Chetli there Yantoma the Mahan Paulu, Miru Yamburna Tiskuni Mahan Paulu, and then under the key irrigated one to order. Under the irrigated one to order the Tiskuni, what a law, Sadra Mundi Satsana Mundi, Satsana Mundi. Make this uh, uh, okay, group of people like the city law, Yorete, Rusoko, Chesa, Rubila, and the world of Sangam. Are they Satsangam and Manchi Sangam? Are they Dusangam in the Kundi? 
మళ్ళీ గుణాలు మారిపోతాయి దుర్గుణాలు వస్తాయి సత్సంగంలో ఉన్నారనుకోండి సద్గుణాలు వస్తాయి అందుకనే సత్సంగత్వే నిస్సంగత్వం నిస్సంగత్వే నిర్మోహత్వం నిర్మోహత్వం నిశ్చల తత్వం నిశ్చల తత్వే జీవన్ ముక్తి అంటాడు ఆశంకర్ వారు కాబట్టి ఈ మూడు విషయాలు మనం ఎవరినైనా తీసుకోండి ఉదాహరణకి మన పత్రిజీని తీసుకోండి గాంధీజీని తీసుకోండి మీరు ఏ గొప్ప వ్యక్తినైనా తీసుకోండి ఉదాహరణ మనం కొన్ని కోట్ల మందిని ఉదాహరణగా ఇచ్చుకోవచ్చు ఎవరినైనా తీసుకోండి వాళ్ళ ఈ మూడు గుణాలు ఉంటాయి ఖచ్చితంగా వాళ్ళ సెల్ఫ్ సాధన స్వయం సాధన ఉంటుంది సత్సంగతో కలిసి ఉంటారు సేవ చివరిది హయ్యెస్ట్ థింగ్ వచ్చేసి సేవ ఈ మూడింటి ద్వారా ఒక మనిషి ప్రజల్లో గుర్తింపు పొందడం అయితేనేమి సొంతంగా వాళ్ళకు వాళ్ళు ఆత్మజ్ఞానాన్ని పొంది ఎన్లైట్మెంట్ పొందడం కానీ ఈ మూడు ద్వారా జరుగుతుంది ఒక చిన్న ఉదాహరణ నేను నా జీవితంలో జరిగినటువంటి ఒక సంఘటన మీకు ఈ సందర్భంగా నేను తెలియజేయాలనుకుంటున్నాను మొదటి నేను వ్యవసాయం చిన్నప్పటి నుంచి చేసేవాడిని ఆసనాలు అవి మా నాన్న మా నాన్న నేర్పించిన ఆసనాలని కొన్ని చేసుకునేవాడిని కొంతకాలం తర్వాత నేను ఏదో బలమైన శక్తి నన్ను నేను వడ్డీ వ్యాపారం చేసేవాడిని వ్యవసాయం వడ్డీ వ్యాపారం చేసేవాడిని తర్వాత ఒక బలమైన శక్తి నన్ను ఆ ట్రాక్ నుంచి మార్చి ఈ యోగ చెప్పాలి దానికి ఒక కారణం ఉంది నేను బైక్లో పడి బ్యాక్ పెయిన్ స్టార్ట్ అయింది డాక్టర్లు ఎవరు వాళ్ళ డాక్టర్ల వల్ల కాలేదు సో ఒక అతను వాడు పెయిన్ చేశాడు యోగ యోగ చేయండి సో అప్పుడు నాకు గుర్తొచ్చింది మళ్ళీ రీకాల్ చేసుకుని నేను చేసేటప్పటికి తగ్గిపోయింది ఫిఫ్టీన్ ఫిఫ్టీన్ డేస్లో తగ్గిపోయింది కొన్ని సంవత్సరాలుగా బాధపడినవాడిని సో నేను ఇది సమాజానికి కూడా ఉపయోగపడాలి కదా అన్నట్టు నేను దాదాపు లక్షలో ఉన్నటువంటి వ్యాపారాన్ని వదిలేసి ఒక సంవత్సరం పాటు తిరుమల తిరుపతి దేవస్థానం యొక్క ఆధ్వర్యంలో నడుచుకున్నటువంటి తిరుపతిలో నడుస్తున్న ఒక యోగా ధ్యాన కేంద్రం ఎస్వి యోగా ధ్యాన కేంద్రం రాష్ట్రీయ సంస్కృత విద్యాపీఠం యొక్క ఆధ్వర్యంలో నడుస్తున్నది అక్కడ వన్ ఇయర్ సంసారం పిల్లలందరూ వదిలిపెట్టేసి రెగ్యులర్ అక్కడే ఉంటూ చేశాను చేసి నేను యోగా చేసి నేర్చుకున్నాను రామకృష్ణారెడ్డి గారు అని చాలా చక్కగా మాకు ఫౌండేషన్ అక్కడ ఏర్పడింది ఆ తర్వాత అదైన తర్వాత వచ్చాను తర్వాత ఎం ఎంఎస్సి ఏదైతే చేశాను అనుకోండి కోర్సులు చాలా వరకు చేశాను నేను చెప్పదలుచుకున్న విషయం ఏంటంటే నేను నాది నా కోసం నేను చేసుకున్నంత వరకు సుబ్రహ్మణ్యం అంటే ఎవరికి తెలియదు మా ఊర్లో వాళ్ళకి తెలియదు అంటే కోడూరులో వాళ్ళకి అందరికీ తెలియదు నేను అంటే ఎప్పుడైతే నేను యోగ నేర్చుకొని చాలా కాలం పాటు ప్రీ క్లాసెస్ పెట్టాను తద్వారా ఆ తర్వాత ఇంకొంచెం స్టెప్ అవ్వాలని మైనంపాటి వెంకట సుబ్రహ్మణ్యం కళాపీఠం అని ఒకటి పెట్టి ఏర్పాటు చేసి ఆ దాని ద్వారా ఆ పీఠం ద్వారా నేను ఇండివిజువల్గా చేసినంత కాలం కూడా ఏదో చిన్న చిన్న గుర్తింపు వచ్చేది ఒక సంస్థని ఏర్పాటు చేసి ఆ సంస్థ ద్వారా సేవా కార్యక్రమాలు మేము చాలా చేసాము అప్పుడు అన్ని పేపర్లో రావడము అన్ని ఈ విశ్వ హిందూ పరిషత్ వాళ్ళు ఆర్ఎస్ఎస్ వాళ్ళు అంటే వీళ్ళందరూ వచ్చి మీ యొక్క ఇది అవసరము ఉంది సమాజానికి అని చెప్పేసి చేయడము పేపర్లో రావడం మొత్తం మా ఊరే కాదు మా జిల్లా అంతా కూడా యోగ మాస్టర్ సుబ్రహ్మణ్యం అంటే దాదాపు చాలా ఎక్కువ మందికి నేను అంటే తెలుసు అంటే మా ఊరు చుట్టుపక్కల ప్రదేశాలు అంటే దీన్ని అర్థం నాకు నేను గ్రహించింది ఏంటంటే ఏంటంటే నేను నాకు అని చేసుకున్న అని మనం పని చేసేంత వరకు అది కేవలం సంకుచితమైనటువంటి ఒక బావిలో ఉన్నట్టే ఉంటాం ఎప్పుడైతే బావి నుంచి బయట పడాలి అనుకుంటే ప్రపంచాన్ని చూడాలనుకుంటే సేవ ఒక్కటే మార్గం సేవలో సేవ చేస్తే అందులో ఉన్నటువంటి తృప్తి అనుభవించే వాళ్ళకి మాత్రమే తెలుస్తుంది నిజంగా నిజంగా అసలు మాటలు చెప్పలేదు ఆ అనుభూతి సార్ ఒక అవసరార్థికి మనము నిష్కామంగా ఒక చిన్న సహాయం చేస్తే నిష్కామంగా 
హృదయ చక్రం ఎంత ఆనందాన్ని గురి అవుతుంది అంటే సంతోషం కాదు ఆనందం మనసుకు లభించేది సంతోషం ఆనందం మీన్స్ బ్లిస్ ఆ స్టేట్ అది ఆనందం దొరకాలంటే అది సేవేనండి ఇంకా వేరే మార్గమే లేదు కాబట్టి ఇక్కడ ఇక్కడ న్యూటన్ గారు లేదంటే లక్ష్మీ మేడం గారు లేదంటే శ్రీదేవి మేడం గారు లేదంటే రాజశేఖర్ గారు వాళ్ళకు చేయాల్సిన అవసరం లేదు మనం సేవ మనం చే సేవ చేయాల్సింది దేనికి అంటే లైఫ్ యూనివర్సిటీ అనే సంస్థ ద్వారా సమాజానికి సేవ చేయాలి ఇక్కడ ఇండివిజువల్గా సేవ చేసే కూడా ఇండివిజువల్గా చేసినా కూడా మీకు అంత సంతృప్తి రా ఒక సంస్థ ద్వారా చేస్తే అదే నేను చెప్పాను కదా నేను ఇండివిజువల్గా యోగా క్లాసెస్ పెట్టినంత వరకు నాకు పెద్ద సంతృప్తి సంతృప్తి కానీ కూడా ఏదో అందరితో వచ్చేది కానీ పూర్తిగా కాకపోయినా కానీ సంస్థ కళాపీఠాన్ని ఏర్పాటు చేసి తద్వారా చేసేటప్పటికీ ఎంతోమంది వ్యక్తులు ఎంతో వ్యాస్ట్ ప్రపంచం అయిపోతుంది మన ప్రపంచం చాలా వ్యాస్ట్ అయిపోతుంది చాలా పరిధిలు లేనటువంటి ప్రపంచం అయిపోతుంది కనుక ఈ సంస్థ మనకు ఒక మాతృ సంస్థ లాగా మనం సేవ చేయడానికి ఇది ఒక గొప్ప అవకాశం కనిపిస్తుంది లైఫ్ లైఫ్ యూనివర్సిటీ కాబట్టి మనం అందరూ కూడా ఎవరైతే ఆనందాన్ని పొందాలనుకుంటున్నారో ఎవరైతే ఆ బ్లిస్ఫుల్ స్టేట్ని అనుభవించాలని మీకు ఎవరికైతే జిజ్ఞాస కోరిక ఉందో అలాంటి వాళ్ళందరూ కూడా మీకు తోచిన తోచిన విధంగా సేవ నిష్కామంగా ట్రూట్లెస్ సేవ అది సార్ చెప్పినట్టు ఉడత వారధి కట్టేటప్పుడు సముద్రానికి ఉడత ఏం చేస్తుంది దానికి కదా వీళ్ళందరూ కథనాయకులందరూ కూడా పెద్ద పెద్ద కొండలు తీసుకొని చేస్తున్నారు ఇది పాపం అందరిని చూసి బాధపడలేదు తను నా చేతనే దూరం చేస్తామని ఇసుక ఉంటుంది కదా బీచ్లో ఆ ఇసుక లేకపోయి అలా ఇలా పొరలాడి ఆ దాన్ని తీసుకుపోయి ఆ వారధి పైకి పోయేసి ఇలా ఇల్లు చేస్తుంది ఇసుక రైలు ముందు తీసుకొచ్చి అక్కడ తెలుస్తుంది అంటే దాన్ని శక్తి సామర్థ్యాన్ని అనుసరించి అది గొప్ప సేవ అది అది చాలా ఆనందాన్ని ఫీల్ ఫీల్ అయి ఉంటుంది ఆ క్షణంలో కాబట్టి మనం మనలో కోటీశ్వరులు ఉండొచ్చు ధనములో ఎజుదకులు ఉండొచ్చు కోటీశ్వరులు ఏదో కోటి రూపాయలు కోటి రూపాయలు దానం చేసిన వారు కదా నేను అంత చేయలేనని అనుకోవాల అవసరం లేదు మీకు చేతనైనంత ధన కనక వస్తు వాహనాలను ద్వారానే కాదు సేవ అంటే సేవ అంటే మనస వాచ కర్మణ త్రికరణ శుద్ధిగా స్వచ్ఛమైనటువంటి ఒక చిన్న పని చేసినా కూడా ఇదంతా కూడా గ్రేట్ గ్రేట్ సర్వీస్ అది అది ఇవే మనకు ఉదాహరణ కాబట్టి మనం ఏదైనా చేయాలి అనుకుంటే ఎవరి కోసం కాదు మన కోసం మన ఆత్మ అభివృద్ధి కోసం మన ట్రాన్స్ఫర్మేషన్ కోసం ఏదైనా చేయాలి అని ప్రతి ఒక్కరు కూడా ఆ బ్లిస్ఫుల్ స్టేట్ ని అనుభవించాలని ఉన్నవాళ్ళు ఖచ్చితంగా మనకి మదర్ సంస్థ నుంచి మాతృ సంస్థ నుంచి ప్రజలకి మన సర్వీస్ యాక్టివిటీ చేయొచ్చు ఒట్టి గొప్పలు చెప్పుకోకై కూర్చి కూరి ఏదైనా ఒక మేలు చేసి జనులకు చెప్పుకోవాలని దొరకాలు నాకు గుర్తుగా అది గుర్తులేదు ఆ ఒక్క పాయింట్ ఏదైనా ఒక మేలు ప్రజలకి జనులకి చేసి చూపు చూపాలి ఊరికే మాట చెప్పడం కాదు చేతులకి ఓకే కాబట్టి మనమందరం కూడా ఆ యొక్క ఒక లైఫ్ యూనివర్సిటీ మనకు ఇచ్చినటువంటి అవకాశాన్ని అందరూ సద్వినియోగం చేసుకుని అపరిమితమైనటువంటి ఆనందాన్ని ఆ భగవద్ భావన అందరు అందరికీ కలగాలని చెప్పేసి అని మనసారా కోరుకుంటూ చాలా అద్భుతం
అద్భుతంగా సమరైజ్ చేసి అన్ని పాయింట్స్ కూడా సంక్షిప్తంగా క్లుప్తంగా అన్నింటినీ చెప్పేశారు మొత్తం ఈరోజు టాపిక్ సంబంధించిన క్లారిటీతో మీ ప్రాక్టికల్ పొందినటువంటి ప్రాక్టికల్ అనుభవంతో షేర్ చేసి అందరికీ మనసులో హత్తుకునే విధంగా చెప్పారు థ్యాంక్ యూ సార్ సో ఫ్రెండ్స్ ఇప్పుడు మనం అందరం కూడా కొంత సమయం మెడిటేషన్ చేద్దామండి కొంచెంసేపు ఫస్ట్ సాధన రోజు సాధన ప్రతిరోజు సేవ కూడా చేయాలి రెండు రెండు హ్యాండ్ ఇన్ హ్యాండ్ ఎవ్రీడే వి డూ మెడిటేషన్ వి డూ సర్వీస్ దీస్ టూ థింగ్స్ మస్ట్ బి బ్యాలెన్స్డ్ ఇన్ లైఫ్ అండ్ ఎవ్రీడే సత్సంగ్ ది ఫార్ములా చాలా బాగుందండి మెడిటేషన్ సత్సంగ్ అండ్ దెన్ సేవ ది బ్యూటిఫుల్ ఫార్ములా సో ఫ్రెండ్స్ అందరం కూడా చక్కగా కళ్ళు మూసుకుందాము లెట్ అస్ ఆల్ సిట్ క్వైట్లీ కంఫర్టబ్లీ రిలాక్స్డ్లీ నో హరీ నో వరీ నథింగ్ టు థింక్ అబౌట్ నో పాస్ నో ఫ్యూచర్ జస్ట్ వెలింగ్ ఇన్ దిస్ మూమెంట్ క్లోజింగ్ యువర్ ఐస్ అందరం కూడా హాయిగా సుఖాసనలో కూర్చుని రెండు చేతులు కలిపి కట్టుకొని మనం శ్వాస మీద ఛాస పెడతాం ఉచ్ఛ్వాస నిశ్వాసాలతో మనం కూడి ఉందాం డూయింగ్ నథింగ్ ఏమి చేయవద్దు ఏమి చేయక్కర్లేదు హాయిగా కూర్చోవాలి సుఖాసనంలో కూర్చోవాలి ఏ ఆలోచన చేయక్కర్లేదు ఏ పని చేయక్కర్లేదు ఎంతో రెస్ట్ఫుల్ స్టేట్లో మనం చక్కగా రిలాక్స్డ్గా కూర్చోవాలి నిరంతరంగా జరుగుతున్న సహజంగా జరుగుతున్నటువంటి శ్వాసక్రియను గమనిద్దాం the next 15 minutes let us all go with him let us cross all the limitations and barriers of physical physical body or mental barriers the mind which is a monkey which is going around any distraction that you are getting from the mind notice that distraction the thoughts which are getting scattered thoughts which are taking you into past or thoughts which are taking you into the future planning all that will suspend the mental activity the physical activity we go within we observe the breath initially we focus on this natural normal breath even if the thoughts are coming and going not to be identified with your thoughts in the mind disidentify detach yourself from the mind be a watcher be an observer witness the mind like watching from outside
who am I? Who is the self in me watching, witnessing everything? So, whatever is happening in you, in the body, in the mind, and deep in your inner being, notice what is that you are experiencing. Not to react to anything that is coming in your body or in your mind. Even if the body has pain, even if the body feels unpleasant sensations, just notice it, watch it, observe it. Even if you find, notice that your mind is agitated or restless, just notice it. Just sheer act of noticing and observing everything shifts, everything changes because you are an observer. You are that observer which is observing all the things in the body and the mind. You are that soul, inner being in you which is watching everything, which is participating in life. Just be that. Swasam eva jhasa alochana rahit chastiti Pana atmanam huagato anusandhanam
beyond time space barriers reach to the place within you where there is no time and no space there is only pure awareness pure beingness inside you be still and know thyself Let us journey deep inside us, the place of nothingness, place of Shunya, Mahashunya, place of great void, where everything dissolves, even dissolve all the brick walls of limiting beliefs, thoughts, fears and negativity, dissolve all those un unpleasant things that is stored in the mind it can be dissolved in this deep void and sunya, maha sunya Last five minutes, friends. Stay. 
stay with the alertness and awareness. Witness everything. Watch everything. Doing nothing and just being. Just be. Just be. Last four minutes. Three minutes more. Two minutes left. Last one minute. Thirty seconds.
15 seconds settled in your heart completely aligned in your body mind heart and soul 5 seconds 4 3 2 1 and 0 okay friends whenever you are ready then rub your hands and place your fingers on your eyes very gently touching your eyelids for a few seconds let the energy be distributed into your eyes from the fingertips then slowly you may open your eyes that's wonderful guys exactly we did 20 minutes meditation I think um, it's really very good meditation for all of you